Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. So today is Monday, January 9th and I am back in Italy. I have had my first day of work. I was like really nervous to go back to work for some reason. Don't really know why, but also like kind of excited. And yeah, it was fine. It was fun. It was good to see people. And yeah, I am 78% into Sandstorm, which is the first book in the Sigma Force series. So I will definitely finish that. Then I might start either A Ruinous Fate or They're Watching You, which are my two anticipated releases for this year that are already out. So I might start one of those or, you know, something completely different because I am terrible at making and sticking to plans. And I don't think I have any more to say for now. Just welcome to the vlog. So it is Thursday and just last night I finished watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine because like I said last week, I started watching it when I was sick because I wanted something fun and then I became obsessed with it and I finished it and it was amazing and I don't know what to do with my life now. Like I already want to watch it all over again, but I am gonna not do that because you know, that would be a little crazy. So I'm really happy that I watched it, but also really sad that it's over. Anyway, also something else that I forgot to mention in last week's vlog is that like I dyed half of my hair red, right? And now every time that I wash it, my bathtub just looks like someone died in there. So that's fun. And also actually fun, surprisingly fun, Getting back to work was way more fun than I expected. Not just to see my colleagues again, but also like actually working was fun. So also happy about that. And the fact that I have less than two months to, you know, be here and then my traineeship will be over and I will be going back home. And, you know, that is going to suck because I do really like being here. I really like working there and yeah, it's sad. Like I I was kind of dreading coming back because I was really liking to be home, but I knew that then I would really like to be back here again and I would be dreading going back home. And yeah, that's it's gonna suck having to go back home at the end of February, but I am just going to try to appreciate it while I still have it, you know? And I think that is everything I had to say apart from the books, so let's get to the books. And I did finish Sandstorm and, you know, I still feel the same way I felt about it last week, which is the story is interesting. I like the mixture of fantasy and science fiction and like the plot was really cool. I was invested. I wanted to know what was happening, but I didn't like the characters. I didn't like, they didn't feel like real people. I don't know. They didn't really have much of a personality. And they didn't feel like 
you know, different people. So, you know, not liking the characters kind of makes it harder to care about the plot. I like the plot, but I didn't care if like the characters were in danger or like whatever was happening to them. I wasn't really worried. I wasn't really happy if they were okay. You know what I mean? So it was okay. Like I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. It was fine. And I gave it three stars. And then I said that I would start A Ruinous Fate, which I did. I did start it last night, but like I barely started it. So I'm not gonna talk about it in this update because I have nothing to say. But I read the final girl support group because I read two books from this author last year and I really liked them. And I still had like the ebook for this one in my laptop. So I just started reading it. And basically, we follow a group of final girls who are the sole survivors of some massacre, some serial killer. And there are, I don't know, five, six of them. And the main character we follow is called Lynette. I think that's how you say her name. If it's not, sorry. And she is one of the final girls that is in the sort of support group and then one of them misses one of their sessions and you know the others are kind of worried and then they find out that that girl who missed their session was actually murdered and so Lynette who is kind of the most paranoid out of all of them not sure paranoid is the right word because I mean she did go through a lot and so she like she has the right to be scared, you know what I mean? But she is, she is intense. And so she is the one that's worried the most, concerned the most, freaking out the most. And she thinks that there is someone out to get all of them, all the final girls. And yeah, she's trying to figure out who that is and how they could have found out so much about them, like where they are, how to kill them, so many like personal details. And yeah, we follow her as she tries to figure that out and also, you know, stay alive. And honestly, I was kind of bored most of this book and I didn't really like any of the characters. And in the other two books I read from this author, I didn't like most of the characters, but I really liked the main ones. And in this one, I really did not like the main character either. And so, yeah, it wasn't great. There were some action scenes which were very fun and I did like them. But I don't know, I feel like not a lot was happening. I feel like we weren't getting, you know, much. And I really wanted like one specific plot twist to happen. And it didn't. I mean, there was a plot twist which was fun. I appreciated that you know, that plot twist existed and the real thing happening wasn't what we were thinking before or like not only, but it wasn't really the plot twist that I wanted. So like I liked it, but I didn't like it as much as I could have. And I don't know, it just didn't feel realistic, which I mean, is a book, so it doesn't have to be realistic, but also it's supposed to be set like in the real world where like real things would happen. And there were some scenes where... You know, it just wasn't realistic at all. And I was just like reading, thinking, you know, this would never physically happen. It would not be possible. And once again, just like Sandstorm, since I didn't like the characters, I didn't really care if they were being hunted, attacked, murdered. I couldn't care less, really. So yeah, that didn't help either. And I don't know, I was just expecting to love this book because I really liked those other two books from this author. And so I was very disappointed. And I didn't hate it because, like I said, there were those action scenes that, you know, kind of saved it for me. But it was still whatever. And I gave it 2.5 stars. And like I said, I did start A Ruinous Fate, but literally only just started it. So I will talk about it in my next update. And yeah, that is it for now and I will talk to you again on Monday.
Okay, so it is Monday and I am a little over halfway through A Ruinous Fate and I don't think I said it, but it's the first book in a fantasy series called Heartless Fates and in this book we follow Calliope or Kala and she is a witch, but I mean she's like half witch, half something else we later learn and that's like something else is considered to be kind of a curse and in that world all of the witches like their lives their fates are connected to some magical things which are the witches dice and so they literally like have to roll dice and whatever number comes up has to do with their fate and Kala is like she abandoned her coven because she was like she was running for something because of what the dice have said about her fate and she basically thinks that she is about to kind of be cursed again and so she is on the run and she lives with two friends who are Hannah who is that other thing that Kala is as well and is considered to be a curse and Delphine who is a siren and Kala basically is like betrayed by her ex and she has to roll the dice again and what she gets is really not what she wanted but it's what she thought she would get and she is kind of connected or she might be connected to a war that will start between the witches and their gods who are called fates and basically the gods are looking for six blood warriors to fight for them in that war and Kala basically might be that like the sixth and final warrior they are looking for but then she meets some other people and one of them is in the same situation as Kala so he might be the last warrior or she might be the last warrior and neither of them want that so there might be a way to change their fate but they have to go into the never-ending forest which I think they also call demonic forest or something like that so doesn't sound fun but there might be a way in there for someone to do a spell to basically change their fates but obviously going into the never-ending forest is not gonna be like I said, fun, not gonna be easy and they are gonna still be in danger. And like I said, I'm only halfway through it more or less, but I am really enjoying it. I really like the characters, like they read pretty young, but this is young adult, so expected. I really like Kala's friends, especially Delphine. She is iconic and I really hope like she doesn't turn out to be a bad person because I really, really like her. And there are like different types of witches and there are also like other creatures. And I am still kind of, you know, confused about that, like how the magic system works. But that is to be expected in the first book in a fantasy series. So I'm not worried about that. And yeah, really enjoying it, having a lot of fun. So far, there is like sort of a romance going on that I don't really care about, but it's me. So what else did we expect? But yeah, for the most part, I am having a really good time with that book. And that is everything that I have read since my last update on Thursday because I didn't read at all in the weekend. I was just not in the reading mood. So this was all Thursday and Friday, mostly Friday. And yeah, honestly, like during the weekend, I had to clean and organize my house because you know I was gone for three weeks and it was messy and also like during the week since I'm working like I get home and I am dead so I don't really feel like cleaning or tidying up anything so in the weekend it is just kind of chaotic and I had to deal with that and yeah that is it that is everything so let's just wrap it up I read from page 475 to the end of Sandstorm, which was 133 pages. I read the Final Girl Support Group, which was 342 pages. And I read the first 240 pages of A Ruinous Fate, which gives me a total of 715 pages. 
And I mean, I did expect to read more than that this week, but like I said, I didn't read at all in the weekend, so it is what it is. But anyway, that is everything for this week's video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, give it a like and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye!